This is a 1994 Dodge Sportsmobile based on the Ram 350. As you can see, it's in excellent shape. It's white with light pinstriping down the middle. Has new wheels and tires. Exhaust, Flowmaster exhaust. Let's do a walk around tour here. It's got a new windshield. Come back over here, you can see the front. No rust. This uh, Sportsmobile actually came to us from Arizona where it was stored in an airplane hangar from a gentleman who was the original owner, or the second owners. Had it about two years now for my little family, which nicely seats uh, four of us. Got the awning, got a little auxiliary outdoor light there, some step-in uh, bar there. There's the uh, heater, water heater assembly there. Spare tire there. The uh, generator exhaust there. This one's fully self-contained. Run this side. There's the stainless steel tip for the uh, exhaust system. New tires. There's the hookup for electrical. Hook up down there for the water. There's the exit for the wastewater. Propane holder there. Now let's take a look at the engine. I'm gonna open that up here. So it was pretty much this clean when we got it a couple years ago. I just touched it up a little bit. We put in a new heavy duty aluminum radiator, as you can see there, and just did a serpentine belt. The uh, car has 116,000 miles on it now, and the uh, 100,000 mile tune-up was done a couple years ago with new spark plugs and wires and whatnot. This has a timing chain, and overall just in really, really great shape. Go ahead and close that up now. Let's uh, take a look on the inside. So both of these doors swing open wide. And they have the, uh, the privacy curtains and then the, the regular uh, non-privacy curtains, I guess. I'm not sure what they're called. You've got a kind of a counter here, a bed slash couch there. I'll pop the top there in a minute, kind of the trademark of a sportsmobile. Swivel seats, swivel, swivel captain's chairs, nice carpet. There's the uh, heater. Here's the uh, cockpit here. You've got the, if you can see the mileage, 116,000. Full tank of gas. This, uh, this one comes beautifully equipped with a cassette deck and a CB radio, never used either. Storage up above. As you can see, the material is in excellent shape. We've got a table there and that opens up to be a bigger table, like so. Storage, we just put our maps in there. Underneath the seat is the water storage. I think it's like a 20 gallon, 30 gallon, something like that. And the awning hook, whatever you want to call it there. Fuses are down here. We have uh, storage, sliding doors here. We just put blankets in there, just bedding. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. The star cool unit is a nice feature. It drops the cabin temperature about 15, 20 degrees. And here's the refrigerator with freezer. This one has a microwave, plenty of storage. Sink, has the stove top. 
and a nice little cabinet back here. Just put food and groceries or whatever. There's the hot water tank down there. More storage back in here. Come around the corner. Some more storage. This is the generator. We just had this service by Onan to start it. Starts up, it's got 137 hours on it. Had about 100 hours when we bought it, but it had sat for a, a year or two or maybe more. So it wasn't running very well. So we had the uh, actually new carburetor put in. Had everything tuned up nicely. Exhaust, as you saw, goes out the back. Um, actually does a pretty good job keeping it fairly quiet in here. Nice feature. I think this is a four or five thousand dollar upgrade. Let's uh, let's go ahead and pop the top. Got a hook back here. Undo that hook. Let's sneak back over there. Then there's two hooks up here. That one there. And then to pop it, all I have to do is keep a door open. Then you have two handles here. I'm just going to push against these handles. And behold, it's popped. And you can see the, uh, the beds there. This sleeps two adults comfortably. And then this couch down here unfolds. And uh, to do that, you just pull the lever down here and this whole thing comes up and over kind of hard to do with one hand again kind of flip flops around and this is actually a really comfortable bed um, we usually put mom and the baby here and then I'm upstairs with the the eight-year-old a lot of cross ventilation even though this is pretty small inside here um, it's it's been an, a nice living space for four people this uh, couch has seat belts for five we have just a couple belts out right now the other belts are tucked in behind seating for five belted sleeping for four all these open up um, there's uh, a curtain and a screen in all the windows so if you want to you can make it really dark in here Once it's popped, there's about seven feet. I'm six feet tall, and there's still you know, another foot above me. So there's quite a bit of space. If you, if there's only two of you, if it was just my wife and I, and we wanted just to sleep down here, you know, we actually would leave these. These just pop up. It just set in, in the groove there. We just leave these at home, and uh, and then when you pop the top, you have the full living space. And when we're camping, we'll actually just stack these. Just show you here. You can follow this at all. We'll just stack these down at the end like this. Or you can even um, stick them upright or tuck them behind there. And then you have lots of living space inside here and with the generator um, you know we've been able to go up into the sticks and just uh, you know run the 